Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and Pro Staff for DT Systems. Today is about bumpers. You've probably seen the multiple different colors and wondered what exactly is the reasoning and why not just buy orange because it looks cool. We're here to talk about some of the specific uses and why they are different colors in fact. So first and foremost, white bumpers. They're designed to be the most visual. Laying on the ground or anything else, they're high contrast, so they're easy to see. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you have what we would consider as easy to see, orange. This actually falls into the color spectrum that meshes with the ground. Greens and tans are going to actually look very similar to this for a dog. Last, you have a black and white bumper. This is to be the most versatile from a contrast standpoint. So if you are throwing marks, you've got the opportunity to see black and white and black and white as it flies through the air. This is gonna be the easiest for dogs to pick out on those longer extended marks. All in all, you really need all three of these colors to train a retriever properly. You have easier to see in the beginning and you can challenge your dog with an orange bumper as you go along. Now you may be thinking, I've already got a whole pile of orange bumpers and my dog's doing well. If you want to really extend their ability to mark and challenge them with distances, switch over to some of these. Check out DT Systems Soft Mouth Trainers. And with that, I'm the guy with the pink gun. We'll see you in the next video.